What's up guys, Zeph from TechSource and welcome to Setup Wars episode 135, Budget Edition. I basically do these every five episodes and then I do worst setup editions every 10 episodes. So if you guys wanna participate in the next Budget Edition, make sure to watch the video link below. Let the Setup Wars begin. Kicking off the episode is Daxton and his black and white gaming setup that he also uses for schoolwork. He's 16 and a Best Buy sales associate, which means that he's on a budget. He also stated that he's a huge fan of Logitech because they have amazing customer service. I love that you didn't write anywhere in the notes that you actually like the quality of the products. Just customer service, it's interesting. We got the Logitech G213 Prodigy keyboard, G502 Proteus mouse, Z323 speakers, and the G430 headset all from Logitech. I gotta admire the brand loyalty there. I also like the unique set of items you have hung from the wall. The license plate actually has a sentimental value because it's from his very first accident where his car burnt down and the watch was a gift from his father and stepmom on their wedding day. There isn't much else on the setup, it's very compact and straightforward, great cable management and the PC running it all is a budget build rocking the G4560 and a 1050 Ti. Thank you Daxton for entering and starting off the show. Up next is Hayes coming from Louisiana and this is his setup for gaming. He actually runs a small graphic design business which is where he saved up his money to buy most of the items in his setup. For a 14 year old that's pretty badass. The desktop is made from scratch using some scrap wood and resin while the legs are built from square pipe bars and the help from his dad and cousin. The monitor he's using is actually de-bezeled, meaning that he took apart the casing so the bezels aren't as big. That's definitely the first time I've heard of that. So I was reading some comments on Setup Wars the other day regarding my recommendation to run the mouse wire underneath the keyboard and some people were complaining about that because they were saying competitive gamers need a lot of cable slack to move the mouse around. I think you guys misunderstood what I was trying to say. You can have as much cable slack as you want. Running the cable underneath the keyboard is just to clean up the surface, that way you don't have that nasty cable running across the desk. It has nothing to do with cable slack. You can pull out as much cable as you need from underneath the keyboard. Anyways, back to the setup. So for audio, he's rocking the JBL Extreme speaker, blue snowball microphone, and the PX3 gaming headset hanging underneath the desk. The cable management is very clean. It looks like most of the cables are routed inside that giant tube, and the rest are covered using wall raceways. Down here is the PC that's powering the setup, and it's sitting on carpet, and this is the second PC featuring a G4560 and a 1050 Ti. One thing I would recommend for your PC is a computer stand, which will not only help prevent dust and dirt from going inside your PC, potentially damaging it, but it also has wheels on it so you can move it around easily, whether you want to clean the carpet up or maybe you want to plug something in from the back. I also feel like your desk is just way too big for the amount of things you have on there, but I guess you can call it future-proof if you ever need to add additional monitors later down the line or maybe even upgrade to an ultra-wide and add some bookshelf speakers. You definitely have all that extra space to work with. I guess I'm just wondering why you haven't placed your PC on the desk since you definitely have extra space for it. I really like those backlit hexagons that you built on the wall. It's very unique and definitely adds some spice to the overall setup, but very nice and considering you're only 14 and on a budget, that's pretty damn impressive. Thank you Hayes for entering. Jacob is up next, who is only a year older than Hayes with a very clean gaming setup featuring a 21 inch monitor that's hooked up to an interesting monitor arm. Below that we got the pair of Logitech Z150 speakers and the K70 RGB keyboard with the Death Adder Elite mouse. On the right is the budget PC running on the i3 6100 and a GTX 1060 from EVGA with the Sennheiser GSP300 gaming headset hanging from the S340 Elite case. Pretty good work with the cable management, looks like he hooked up everything underneath the desk and routed the cables through the channel raceway that I recommended so many times in the past. Excellent work, not much else I can say, very clean gaming setup that gets the job done, thank you Jacob for entering. Coming all the way from Slovakia in Europe is Juraj and his video editing and gaming setup. Now you guys might be wondering, Ed, why the hell is this guy in budget edition? He has three freaking monitors. 
Relax, okay? He's using outdated 17-inch monitors that cost him a total of 30 euros. The desk itself is custom made by him from old shelves that he took apart from his wall. And he even created a spot just for his PC on the right side. Awesome job on the custom work, my man. That's actually very impressive. The three monitors fit perfectly on the desk riser with a USB hub attached underneath there. And there's even a spot to hang his Jambird headphones. I also love that you drilled a hole to route the keyboard and mouse wire through and take a look at the wire management underneath his desk. Beautiful job, couldn't have done it better myself. The PC powering the setup has an Athlon X4 845 and the Gigabyte GTX 1050. There's really nothing I would recommend for your setup, I think you did a great job putting it all together despite being on a tight budget. I do want to let you know that I read your note and I appreciate the kind words. So if you're watching this video, uh, send me an email through Setup Wars because I do want to send you $100. I know it's not much, but I'm hoping you can use this towards your next setup upgrade. Last but not least is Ronald, who is not only the youngest contestant of this episode, being only 12, but also the one who has a true budget setup. I mean, this guy built his entire setup underneath his bunk bed. That's genius. I mean, you can jump straight out of bed and start gaming and vice versa. All jokes aside, obviously he didn't have the extra space in his room for a setup, so he had to make the decision of putting it underneath his bed. Having a setup is better than not having a setup. So Ronald is rocking a 25 inch ultrawide from LG and a budget keyboard and mouse that I don't know the name of. He doesn't have any headphones, so instead he is using speakers that he bought from some Chinese website. In fact, he purchased the keyboard and mouse from that same Chinese website. The PC powering the setup is an eyesore. It's equipped with an FX6300 and a GTX 740. There is a few things I noticed about your PC though. First up, you put the RAM sticks in the wrong slot. You do need to double check that and make sure they are both in the correct alternating slots. Also, you might want to bring that GPU to the top X16 slot. You might not notice a huge difference in performance, but every little bit helps. I do have to give you some props on attempting the cable management. I mean, at least you zip tie those cables to the bed, but the rest of the wires are kind of just hanging from the back. If you don't want to invest in some better cable management equipment, then that's fine, but you can pick up some cable clips to help keep those wires from sagging. Those are actually a lot cheaper. I read your notes, Ronald, and I know that I inspired you to build your current PC, and you're actually planning on building your next one. So if you're watching this video, toss me an email on Setup Wars because I do want to help out on your next build. Uh, thank you for being such a long time subscriber. I appreciate it and thank you for entering. So that does it for this episode of Setup Wars. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to drop your comments below and vote on who you think has the best desk setup. If you guys do enjoy the budget edition of Setup Wars, dropping a like would be awesome. And if you guys don't like it, please, I encourage you to leave a dislike. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I will see you in the next one.